So the Raptors have won four out of five. They do have 10 of their next 12 out on the road. And CJ McCollum, who has a podcast, was speaking on this Raptors squad and said, there's rumblings about certain players on the team not being happy. And due to tampering, I can't speak to that. But I think they're going to move someone. That is a very spicy, spicy quote, Shams. Any insight to share on, uh, on what CJ had to say here? Well, real quick, from Chandler's perspective, like if you're a player on the Raptors, this is the MVPA <laughs> president. What, like, what? How do you feel hearing that from CJ McCullum, a guy on another team who could actually have a team that can make a trade for one of these guys? Yeah, well, if it's if it's true, then obviously I'm kind of salty that he's kind of airing it out. If, if if you know if he does actually know something is happening, but uh, yeah, I've never really seen something like this. Clearly, he knows something that we don't. They are severely you know, not playing well and underachieving this year. And they do have a lot of young pieces and a lot of trade assets. So uh, I feel like if it smells like fish, it's probably fish and there's something going on here, but I, I have what? no idea. I, 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 I don't know. This, this one's weird to me. I know that the fans aren't happy. They want Nick nurse fired. Uh, they're they're not even in the play in right now, and they have really really high expectations this year. Michelle, you didn't like that fishy comment. That's not the phrase because it could be something else. That's not. <laughs> um, well, I'll, I'll break it. I, 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 go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll break it down. I mean, I mean, the the, the matter of the issue is is that yeah, the Raptors want to be competitive. They want to be a team that's making the playoffs. Like Masai Ujiri is history. This, this is a group that wants to compete and contend. And yeah, like Chandler said, they've been underwhelming this year. And that's why when you look at it, they're, they're four games under 500. They're out of the playing tournament right now. You, you look at the talent that they have on the scene. Pascal Siakam, OG Ananubi, Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent. I think all those guys are being monitored across the league to see just exactly when Toronto could flip the switch on the season and move more toward a rebuild. You have Fred Van Vliet going into uh, the last... Uh, he's going to be a free agent in the summer. OG Ananubi next year will be in the last year of his deal. Same as Pascal Siakam. Gary Trent is also going into a free agency year. So they've got decisions to make on a lot of these guys. And you, you can't really pay all of them if you're not going to be even a playoff team. So Masai Ujiri has a lot of decisions to make. I think these next two to three weeks, if this team can turn it around, then you could see Masai Ujiri giving some you know, some hope and some commitment to this group to try to ride it out. Because we saw last year, they got off to a rough start. They turned around second half of the year. They make it into a position where they're a four or five seed. This year, we'll see. They have a two to three week window right now where their season's going to come in, in, into form, whether they're going to sell or they're going to buy. And everyone around the league is watching. Yeah, and it's interesting because I like their team. Looking at the standings, I like them more than Chicago, Atlanta, Indy, New York. Like, they're a better team than, than they're showing right now. So that's what's confusing about them. But what's, what what happens, Shams, when, when you know, one of these guys gets traded to New Orleans? Like, is, is that right? tampering? Like, what, what happens <laughs> then? Yo, Chandler, are you calling tampering on this? Like, I don't know. This is just interesting for me. I've never seen this before either. It's not tampering because nothing's happened yet. It's not like he's, you know, he's just saying what he thinks. I don't think this is tampering. I just think maybe it's, it's almost just gossip. It's rumors at this point, but it will get interesting if one of these guys do eventually get moved <laughs> uh, and they kind of look back at this quote, especially if it's to new Orleans. That's my thing. They have 10 to 12 on the road coming up. I mean, if you're New Orleans front office, David Griffin and those guys, like, and you were planning on maybe trying to poach a couple Raptors or at least one, you must be, and look, CJ's not known to be a reckless dude. So for him to say this at all is like, oh, okay. But it is interesting because you have no idea what your own front office is maybe planning to do or not planning to do. That's when I think this gets interesting. And could anything happen to CJ? I mean, is there any punishment? I mean, what? I don't even know what you do with this. Where do you put it? There's not <laughs> going to be a punishment. Like Chandler said, it's players gossiping about players. But when you look at New Orleans, they actually have assets. Like if they want to go and get serious with an OG on a newbie, or yeah. Pascal Siakam. They've got all their picks. They've got the Lakers picks. That's why when they made, you know, they're one of the teams that did call the Nets about Kevin Durant. They just didn't offer uh, fully Zion Williamson or Brandon Ingram. But they have all the picks in the world. They've got young players. So theoretically, this is a team that has what it takes to get a guy like that. Yes.